everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome to a very special video. So this video marks the three year anniversary of my YouTube channel Gadget Girl Kylie. I started the channel back in January 2012 on the 6th and I had no idea that I would get this far on YouTube. So as you can see I have shared a message that I actually wrote on Twitter just before the new year. I wanted to share it on this video because I know a lot of you guys don't actually follow me on Twitter yet and I wanted to make sure that you guys really understand how much I appreciate your support and how awesome you have been without the love and support of you guys pulling me through um, my channel would not have made it to where it is today. So I'll leave this on so you guys can read this and what I'm going to do now is talk about some of the stats. So this video was filmed on the 4th so some of the stats that I'm reading out now are a little bit different to what you guys may see on my channel. So my total lifetime views at this point is 9,943,227. That is just absolutely crazy guys. I had no idea that it would reach such heights to be honest. Right now I have 38,612 subs. So this is just absolutely crazy. I mean to be 8,612 subs over my self set goal of 30k by Christmas 2014 wow <laughs> i just did not think that would happen but again you guys have been so supportive liking favoriting commenting and sharing my content that it has reached so many people and i've gained a lot more subscribers and viewers to join team ggk so total videos on my channel are 2540 videos wow a lot of content guys so just remember guys if i'm not uploading games you're enjoying right now don't forget to check out my channel and all the videos that i've uploaded i've got a few complete let's plays now that you can go back and check out it's actually pretty cool to see some people going back to my old content as well and uh, checking that out some people have been commenting on my thief let's play and going back to my ease memories of salsetta let's play so that's just really awesome my new goal of Christmas 2015 is to reach 60k subscribers and I really think we can do this guys working together as a team. The support is amazing and there's no reason why we can't smash that goal like we did in 2014. So for the rest of this video guys what I'm going to be doing is a room tour plus equipment video. So I'll be taking you around my room, showing you what's in my room, show you around, show you some pieces of artwork in my room and also go through the equipment that I use for my YouTube channel. If you want to check out details about any equipment used in this video guys then don't forget to check out links in the video description where you can read up spec details about equipment that I've shown in the video and stuff like that. If you have any questions to do with this video equipment or anything you've seen in the video then just leave them down below guys sit back and enjoy room sausage okay so here we are this is where the magic happens in more ways than one <laughs> so i'm just going to do a quick tour of my room and then after i've shown you guys around my room i'm going to be going through my equipment that i use for my youtube channel so the door is behind me and when you first enter the room I have a set of drawers on the right hand side with my wardrobe and on here I have loads of tic tacs. You never know when you need tic tacs and uh, I've got my awesome dragon statue head here which is just cool. My mum got me that as a present and I've got this which has loads of smaller cats inside. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head but that was a present as well. Then I've got one of my dragons over here. He is a floppy dragon so he doesn't have a wire armature. His name is Auron. That's his head there which is made out of clay and uh, it's fake fur that has been dyed like a purple and blue colour. If you want to know more about this piece of artwork then check out links in the video description. Uh, I bought it from an artist called Dark Angel Lord and she's really awesome. She will make custom orders as well so 
that's really cool. Then next to my wardrobe I've got my furry rug which just sounds really wrong. Uh, I've got stuff under my bed, the floor's a mess at the moment. I've got my bag over here, now this bag always remains packed because at the moment I travel to my boyfriend's for a couple of days each week to see him so I pretty much always have essentials in this bag ready and waiting to go and then I've got my uh, slippers over there and my little owl in the corner which stops the wardrobe door from banging on the wallpaper uh, I've got my bed which is slightly away from the wall and there is a reason for that because the wire that I use for my capture device doesn't reach to the back of the bed when it's pushed against the wall so I have to move the bed forward slightly when I'm recording so that's why it's slightly forward because I was recording earlier today before doing this video. Next to the door I've got another set of drawers with clothes in. I have uh, a little butterfly box here which has some essential information in for my modded consoles like um, keys and stuff for the software. I've got some folders here. Now these are what I use for my planning for my channel. This contains like um, receipts and things that I've purchased for my channel and stuff like that for being self-employed with my YouTube channel. Then I've got this book here which is what I write all my planning in like plan what episodes go live on each day. Then I've got another diary here which I haven't actually used yet but <laughs> which is now out of date but I'll probably still use it just, just to uh, use up the paper. I've got my PC tower over here and another furry on top. This one is called Luna. She has a wire armature which is why she's posed so I can move her and repose her. It's a very strong wire armature as well so it does take some force to uh, adjust the position of her. Again, this is from the artist Dark Angel Lord. Links in the video description. Above that I've got a clock which is my dragon clock. So as you can see my room is like a lilac purple theme. There's lots of butterflies and dragons in this room and cats. <laughs> um, so yeah, my PC tower has these blue lights on, which are quite irritating at night actually. I do want to disconnect those, but luckily I don't tend to upload overnight, so it's very rare. If I start doing that more, I will try and disconnect these so that they are off, because they just illuminate the whole room otherwise. Also on this desk, my iPod, you don't really need to see that. I've got a USB extender so that gives me additional USB ports that I can plug in. I've got a little webcam here which is just a cheapo one. I think it was about £10. It's not very good. I've got some spare USB thumbsticks here which are 16 gigabyte each. I have those to hand so I rotate out the thumbsticks I use when filming. I've got a headset here. Now this is the headset that I use it's stuck in the chest of drawers, hang on a second, there we go. This is the headset that I use for my filming with the modded PlayStation Vita for when I'm streaming and also for the modded 3DS. It is a Turtle Beach Air Force P11 headset, it's a really good headset, so that's the one I use for that. So above my bed I have a picture of butterflies. Uh, my bed's really messy. I've got Hello Kitty and a toothless pillow. And moving along now, chocolate. <laughs> you never know when you need chocolate. So this is where I sit. I sit on my bed, which is opposite my TV screen. So let's just get all the crap off there. So this TV is 47 inches and I use this as my monitor for gaming on the PC and also switch to the channel over and use it for my console stuff as well. So it is multifunctional basically so that's why I'm able to use it so I can sit back at the back of my bed with the pillows in comfort and do my gaming. Moving closer to the TV now, I'm really out of breath. I've gone for a walk this morning. Um, it's like my New Year's resolution to start exercising more and uh, 
I decided to film this shortly after and I'm just really out of breath now. Okay, so underneath, next to the TV first of all, I have a sound bar. It's an LG sound bar. It produces really good quality sound. I'm not allowed surround sound in this house. That's one of the rules, so I made a compromise and went for a sound bar instead. I don't really use the sound bar much other than when I'm watching movies and sometimes when I'm watching Netflix. But to be honest, mostly I use the TV normal speakers just because it's easier and uh, this TV actually has pretty decent sound. On the first shelf of the TV stand I have two Seagate hard drives, you should be able to see them there. I think one is two terabytes and one is three or four terabytes but the two terabyte one is pretty much full and the other one is I think it's got about 800 and something gigabyte left so I'm gonna have to get a new one soon and I use those to back up my YouTube videos so I've got all of those saved well not all of them but most of them saved on those hard drives just in case things go wrong then next to them I have my Ava Media Game Capture HD2 device so this is what I use for the PlayStation 4 the PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii U and PlayStation TV. If you want to know more information about this capture device I will put a link to the Amazon listing in the video description so just read up on that yourself. But it's a really decent capture device and um, it's done me well with my videos and I really like it. And the headset I use with this is this headset here. So this is called Fatality Creative um, actually I didn't pay for this, my brother had it as a spare headset, that's why it's a bit monkey and um, he gave it to me because he got a new headset so I've bookmarked it and if this one breaks I'll probably just buy this same headset, it produces really good quality sound if you want to know what it sounds like um, if you don't already then just check out some of my PlayStation Vita footage and look in the video description for PlayStation TV because that's what I've used this headset with and I believe I also used it with my uh, footage of the third Little Big Planet game on the PlayStation 4 as well so you can always go and check that out but it's a good quality headset. I've also got a, another thumb stick plugged in here which is 128 gigabytes so that holds a lot of videos and uh, with this capture device I can select it so that it records straight onto that thumb stick and then when I'm done just um, remove the thumbstick and then render the video straight off the thumbstick on my PC so it's very handy and also this capture device has an internal hard drive that I used from my old PlayStation 3 and I think it's about 600 gigabytes so I have like 600 gigabyte inside and then 128 gigabyte on the outside with this thumbstick and then I have those two spare pen drives over there which are 16 gigabyte each so I've always got plenty of memory for recording basically. Next to the Ava Media Game Capture HD2 device I have the Nintendo Wii U which is the black version. Um, I don't really need to explain much more about that and then next to that I don't know if you guys can see it I've got the PlayStation TV let me just lift it out so you guys can see it a bit better. There we go, PlayStation TV, which is connected via the Ethernet because the Wi-Fi on the PlayStation TV doesn't seem to be that good, actually, from what I can tell. So I just hooked it up via the Ethernet. And, uh, yeah, it's a good little good little system to play games on. Play PlayStation Vita games on your big screen. Remember, all games do not work, so you will need to check out a list to see which ones do. Then on the bottom shelf I have the PlayStation 3 which really hasn't seen much love recently. Um, it's actually not plugged in so it's all shut off and that so... Oh no it is plugged in, the light's on. So yeah, boy it hasn't really been played much at all. And then next to that I've got the PlayStation 4 in the corner there. Um, so yeah, I, the only one I don't have is the Xbox One. There isn't actually any games that I want for that at the moment, but I might get it this year sometime. I am interested in that scale bound, is it called? But I need to see and read more stuff about that before I decide if I want the Xbox One. Something else to bear in mind, guys, 
to record the PlayStation TV, I am using a HDMI splitter, um, so I have to switch the connections out for the PlayStation TV and PlayStation 4 with my capture device and stuff like that. When I record the PlayStation 3, I just connect that via 1080i and it's good enough, but with the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation TV, I have to switch between those two um, to pass through my capture device. Then over here, I'll just zoom in, I've got some towers next to my TV stand, which is where all my plugs are. I've got two towers, <laughs> two towers, and uh, pretty much all the plugs are mostly filled. Next to that, I have my bookshelf, which I don't use for books. I used for Blu-rays and movies. And I've got loads of controllers on top of there. I've actually got one, two, three PlayStation 3 controllers. And I've even got a fourth one at my boyfriend's house, which is a red one. Um, I did have a blue controller, but that one broke. I've got two PlayStation 4 controllers. And I've got a blue one on the way that I got on sale, thanks to CJ, who gave me a tweet on Twitter and told me they were on sale for 36 quid. So I picked up one. Uh, I've got a couple of spare things here. I've got two spare keyboards for my computer. I've got a spare mouse. I do actually have another spare mouse somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, on the bottom shelf, I've got loads of like wires that I need close to hand, like charging wires and stuff like that. And I do actually have a couple of books in the corner, which I won't go through, but I'll just tell you what some of them are. I've got some books on tattoos, I've got some books on mythology, I've got some guidebooks, which I don't actually use to help me through the games, I just buy them because I like to collect them and see the artwork inside. Um, I've got some books on how to draw certain things that people have bought me over the years. Um, I've also got some things that I got with games, like, you know, like, collector's edition books and stuff like Child of Light, um, I think I've got one for Dragon's Crown, got one for Danganronpa, so there's a few things there anyway. Now over here on my windowsill I have two more furries which I will just show you now. Okay so this first one is Dusk, again if you want to know information about this check out links in the video description. But this one is a lot more sturdy. It's made with resin, I believe. Um, so it's not clay. So it's very durable. And it's got a armature inside, but it's like a ball and socket armature. And I think it's like plastic or something like that. So it's really strong. It's not wire. And these can be posed in all sorts of ways. Um, I've got a second one now that I'll just show you. Okay, so this one's called Merlin. So... The purple one was called Dusk, and this one's called Merlin, and again it's the same. It's by artists called Worms and Bones, and they are a team, and they do make a variety of different ones, and they do do custom orders as well. These ones are slightly more expensive. Uh, both of these cost me over £100 to get. One was a present though, and uh, one I purchased myself. So yeah, there's both of them, and that's all of the furry dragons that I have in my room. Okay, so this is the desk next to my bed, as you can see here. I've got a little lamp, I usually have my tablet close to hand and my phone. I also use this desk for having a drink next to me, and I've got my TV controller, my capture device controller to hit record, and I've also got a little remote for my soundbar by my TV. And down the side of my bed I have uh, my PlayStation 4 controller and some wires. All my wires are labelled so when I'm trying to get a wire really quickly I can just look at the label and see what it's for. So that's really really handy. They're just white stickers that I have. So this one says Vita TV, so I know that if I plug in this DualShock 4 to this wire that it controls the Vita TV and uh, the label says it on both sides as well, so Vita TV, Vita TV, so it's just easier to grab a hold of your wires and again I've got another pad down here which I use to plan videos 
And I also have my laptop down here, which is a really, well, it's not a rubbish laptop, but it's really like clogged up, to be honest. I need to like sort it out, wipe it clean, start again. But I use this laptop for uh, when I'm streaming PlayStation 4 stuff, um, when I'm not displaying the chat so that I can see it on my TV, I will have the laptop set up next to me so I can read the Twitch chat. And I did actually used to use it when streaming Vita stuff um, to read the Twitch chat, but I don't need to do that now. Um, I just have the modded Vita software smaller on my TV screen and then have the chat pop up in the left so I can read the chat. So I'm going to show you guys my modded 3DS and modded Vita now. Okay guys, so last but not least, the remaining two pieces of equipment, my modded PlayStation Vita and my modded Nintendo 3DS. So obviously I got the PlayStation Vita first, um, which was a massive impact on my channel. It's actually what helped my channel grow so much was buying this, but it was not cheap guys. Um, so I didn't trust sending my PlayStation Vita off to the company in Japan, Katsukiti, to be modded. So I instead purchased a Japanese one. So this is a Japanese model from them and asked it to be modded. And uh, that cost me £300. Yes, £300. So if you're in America, you should use a currency converter to see what the cost would be in dollars. And um, on top of that, when it got sent back to me, I was hit by import duty with the handling fee and tax. So I ended up paying £360 in total along with the import duty. And then I also needed a couple of accessories. So in total, it cost me £380. So that's almost £400, guys. That's a lot of money. That's like PlayStation 4 with loads of games money or Xbox One with loads of games money. So it was not cheap. So a modern Vita, what it does is it allows you to have a micro USB port, which you can see here. And you can see the wire here. And what I do is I plug this into my PC. Or I actually have a USB extender cable which I plug this into. And then it comes with software. So when I have my Vita on, it will display the Vita gameplay on my PC screen. And then I just need to use something like XSplit or Fraps to record. I'm not going to show you the viewing software because you're not meant to show it as part of the terms and conditions of the company and I don't want to get into trouble. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much basic viewing software. It doesn't allow you to record from the viewing software itself. So you will need to use OBS, XSplit or, you know, whatever you want to use to record. But also what you will need for this is, um, and what it does is it removes any static noise in the background and it makes the audio really clear when you're recording or streaming. So the other thing to take note of guys is you may have noticed that I've got sellotape on this modded PlayStation Vita and that is because when this mod arrived to me day one it was faulty so this is again from Katsukiti. I do not recommend this company guys um, I'm not going to sit here and badmouth them and tell you guys all the problems I've had but I do not recommend them. They don't have good craftsmanship of their work. But it's the only place you can buy a modded Vita for direct capture. But you can see here that I've sellotaped the wire on the back. I've sellotaped it down the side. And the reason I've done this is because the micro USB port connection is so temperamental that the slightest knock will... Uh, disconnect it from the viewing software which will mean the game will freeze and I have to close the software and restart um, the software and try and get it working so it's pretty temperamental so the sellotape does help to prevent the disconnect issues between the modded Vita and the viewing software so that's why I've done it but obviously it's left horrible marks on my Vita I'm really not happy about it considering I paid all that money 
and uh, at the time I just wanted to start filming I didn't want to delay it I didn't want to send it back and get the free repair I just put the sellotape on and accepted it as it as it was because otherwise I would have been delayed so yeah that's the way it is now next we have the modded 3DS so it's the same thing a micro USB port added in again comes with viewing software this is the 3DS XL version by the way as you can see I've got a Monster Hunter sticker on it with a hard clear case for protection and again that broke really quickly as most of you will know I have one and my brother has one and uh, mine broke after about three weeks use and also his broke after about three weeks use so um, this one is now repaired and back to me and my brother's one is on its way back and I paid for a repair with that one as well so that's on its way back so that's it again you will need to use that uh, loop isolator that I showed you earlier for the sound with that also and again you can stream with this using XSplit OBS and again you can record with whatever you want to use to record and use the viewing software to display it on your PC screen and capture the footage. So that's it for my equipment. Um, any previous equipment I've shown you in this video that I didn't really explain in detail, I'll put links in the video description if you want to read up on those and uh, look into those. So like the Ava Media Game Capture HD2 device and the HDMI splitter that I use, I will put links to them in the video description if you want to check those out. Now, something I want to touch on here at the end of the video, guys, is a lot of you lot were asking me why I do not do face cam. So I showed you that shitty little webcam earlier. There it is, zooming on you, really blurry, but there we go. That webcam. And my room is just not set up for webcam. I have no desk. There is nowhere I can have a desk in this house. This is my work office slash bedroom so it is primarily a bedroom so there's nowhere I can have the webcam really I have set it up there and tried to use it while sat at the back of the bed but the webcam is cheap it doesn't have optical zoom and uh, it just looks really really blurry when trying to film so the only way I could film with it is if I had it right next to me and I can't have it on the windowsill the angles all wrong and I can't have it on that table next to the bed because that's all wrong and without spending silly money on getting a new webcam that actually does have optical zoom um, I'm not going to be able to do webcam really I mean I do have the PlayStation 4 camera up there so I am going to try and use that more and do some streams with face cam and stuff like that but that's the best I can do with this room obviously if I had my own place um, the ideal dream would be to have my own YouTube room where I have all my YouTube equipment in there I can have a webcam and PC and everything can be set up and I'm good to go but sadly I do not have that as an option right now so this is my recording studio and my bedroom and that's about it Okay guys, so if you have any questions about the equipment that I've shown you in this video, then feel free to leave comments down below, um, you know, or if you have any questions about the pieces of art I've shown you, or anything to do with what I've shown you in this video, then leave comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this room tour slash equipment video. As always guys, thank you for watching and take it easy.